What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with Code Academy Int Introduction to Python Part 7. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to go here and I'm going to load Python. Click it and we're going to find Part 7. So this is 2, 4, 6, and uh, we will be on function 7. Uh, did we already do functions? Let me see. I think, yeah, I think this is seven. And um, so let's get started and let's reset the code. Um, so we're just gonna read about it a little bit. You can read this, but I'm gonna go ahead to the next one just for reference. This has 19. So I'm probably gonna break it up into two parts. I'm gonna go to 10 in this one. So let's save and submit our code. Let's undo and reset the code and uh, so go ahead and create the function spam, so def spam, and all this is going to do is it's going to print the string of eggs, um, and then don't forget to include a comma if you're not using, close it in triple quotes, all right, so we can put our comma right here, we did uh, prints eggs, and then we'll, we'll close it off. And uh, cool. And then let me, yeah, let's run it. Double check the parentheses. Oh, my bad. I've got to invoke it actually. And let's run it. Not a huge fan of the Python syntax either, to be honest. Let's reset this and call it. Set up a function square. Call it on the number 10 by putting 10 between the parentheses of square. 9, 9. So we'll say square. And we want to pass 10 as our parameter, and that should just give us back 100. Cool. Let's move on. Next one up is check out the function in the editor power. We should take the two arguments, a base and an exponent, and uh, so we're going to use base and exponent. So now we can try it with 10 and 2, and again, we should get 100. 10 to the power of 2. Uh, oh, sorry, raised 37 to the power of 4. It's getting a little ahead of myself, I guess. There it is. Nice. Next one, um, let's look at the two functions. Change the body of deserves another, this function, so that it always adds 2 to the output of one good turn. So, what is this going to do? This is going to... Uh, what is this going to do? This is going to do... Um, so, which has one, change the body of deserves another so that it always adds two to the output of one good turn. So we're going to, we're going to call one good turn, so this is called a closure, and now we're going to add a two. So let's try it out, make sure we got this right. So like, uh, your deserves another function returns three instead of four when we call deserves another one. Um, Sure that in no, there should be replaced by a call to one good turn of n. Oh, my bad. So it's n, not uh, return one good turn. Return one good turn. One good turn. And plus two. There we go. So we just pass n, whatever they pass, and then two. All right, next up is uh, we're going to make a function. We're going to call it cube. And inside of here, it's going to take an argument called a number, a parameter called number. And it's going to return the cube of that number, so number three. Um, and then define a second function. Okay second function is uh, what's our second function going to do? It's going to be called by three and this is going to take a number and it's going to say if if the number um, what is it? So if the number is divisible by three, if the number divisible by three um, then what we want to do 
is return number. Okay. Let's see. If, if that number is zero or three, you should call Q the number of numbers zero or three. Okay, so if that number is zero or three, return cube of number, which will return a net number. And we say else, we don't want to do return false. And then let's run our code, make sure it works. Looks like it did. Cool. Now we're going to um, work with some arithmetic. So right now we're going to print, well first let's import every ASP Python. Oh, let's first try printing square root 25 and we're going to get an error because we're missing a module. But that's what we wanted. So to get it, we want to import math. All right. And let's run our code again. You import the math module from here square root to math dot square root print math dot square root. All right, and that should work. Next up, we want to import um, square root. You don't need the after square root in the from math dot import. So let's say from math import square root, and we can say. Uh, is that all we need? All right, cool. And last one for this section, I want to do is the power from module import. It stores everything, so let's just do from module from math import everything. And let's run our code, and that's that's it for this one. So I want to finish off in the next lesson with eleven to nineteen. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and see you in the next video. Take care.